Hello, in this video I'm going to go over the Oculus Rift in first person shooters and just uh, talk about the key aspects of the Oculus Rift and the, the more notable um, aspects of gaming that occur when using the Oculus Rift. Hopefully I can convey it in a way for people that haven't got the Rift to give, them a, give you a clear idea of what it's actually like uh, rather than just uh, screaming and going, oh it's amazing, although it is pretty good. Uh, and I definitely think it's going to be how people play games uh, in the coming years. I think everyone's probably going to be playing FPS, FPS games with an Oculus Rift. And uh, I've put it on standing up, which is not a good idea. But that actually feels very strange. I, so far I've been playing it sitting down. If you stand up with it on, it actually feels a lot more natural because you're stood up in the game. Which I guess makes sense, really. So the, the key things... I'm going to sit down. <laughs> the key most noticeable things with the Oculus Rift, first of all, it's not actually that hard to find where your controls are in, uh, in real life. So people that were really worried about that, it's not really that much of an issue. The most noticeable things is the, with the Oculus Rift immediately is the, the 3D, the sense of 3D and how the 3D operates in the Oculus Rift compared to if you've used 3D glasses at cinema or... I don't know, where, where actually, like three, passive or active 3D on a television, um, the 3D just doesn't feel right with those, especially if there's an object that's really close to your face. If you've, if you've used 3D, NVIDIA's 3D glasses and 3D gaming, when there's objects really close to your face, it, it's like you, you, your eye, it's called convergence in how it operates, but the way your eyes look at an object, it becomes really uncomfortable. But with the Oculus Rift, you can have an object right in your face and it feels very natural and it's almost as if the background becomes out of focus uh, and it depends what you're looking at so at the moment I'm choosing to look at this wall uh, this doorway um, and it doesn't feel uncomfortable for my eyes it's very natural it's like I've got my face right in front of the corner of a wall but then if I move my eyes to the right and look to the right to the, I don't even have to move my head I can just move my eyes to look to the wall with the windows on it that's also very natural it's like the the the, the doorway that's close to me almost becomes out of focus and now the thing in the distance becomes in focus now if you've watched 2d films like i say the directors normally force focus on things and force you to look around the screen and it and if you happen to be looking at something that then changes to out of focus it's really uncomfortable but with the oculus rift it, it's all really seamless and works really well so the 3d in this is probably the best 3d that you're going to get in anything so for, even for watching films, the Oculus Rift is going to be fantastic. At the moment, obviously, the resolution is really limited with this, with the, uh, the the developer kit that's currently available. But the uh, future developer kits, uh, presumably, and the consumer one is going to be at least 1080p, which I think will be a massive improvement. But even with the the limited resolution, for stuff that's in your face, close in the game, it's not that much of an issue, and actually works surprisingly well. Um, so another another really big thing. Uh, with the Rift that you, you probably wouldn't have experienced with other things, even with 3D TV, is when you uh, go through and there's something above you, so you, so you go through like a doorway or from outside to into a building, you really notice that you've gone from an open space to an enclosed space and you really feel like there's something enveloping you. Um, and you really notice ceilings, <laughs> which is quite strange. Um, and you notice detail that's above. In most FPS games, when you're playing with a keyboard and mouse on a normal screen, you just, you just don't tend to look up that much because there's no real need to. But with with a virtual reality headset on like the Oculus Rift, you, you find yourself looking around more. So you notice details that are in uh, that are higher up and uh, you especially notice the, the, the sense of being inside of something when you're in something. Um, looking out of windows as well, or like if you're, if you're on the second floor of a building and you look out, it feels like you're actually on the second floor of a building. Again, you don't, if you're playing a normal game, you don't tend to get that feeling that you're high up and that you're on a window frame if you, if you go up to a real a real window in real life and you lean over it you kind of get that feeling of like going oh you know i'm i'm up in the air and potentially i could fall out of the window and hurt myself you, you get that feeling with with the oculus rift which again is something i've not experienced with normal with a normal 3d uh 3d glasses or a, a 2d screen um other key aspects um oh, you get a sense of uh, objects that are in a in a game environment, especially when you're close to them, they have a sense of actually being there. 
with this, uh, I've used a 3D TV, and again, you don't you don't get the same sense of a object actually existing. You you do to a capacity, but with a 2D screen, you don't at all. With a 3D screen, you get a bit of a sense of an object actually being being there, existing. Um, but with the Oculus Rift, it's very believable. And this is with Half-Life 2, which is quite an old game. So the graphics, obviously, you know, the polygon limit isn't particularly high. And the graphics aren't exactly the most detailed. But for all intents and purposes, my, my mind is interpreting that, that the... Uh, the frying pan or whatever it is on the stove exists. It's as if I could reach out and touch it and it's, it's very believable. So I can imagine with, um, with a HD Rift and a, and a game with uh, high quality graphics, it'll be even more believable. Um, obviously there's looking around, which the, the tracking on the Oculus Rift is really good. And um, for those of you that you might have tried uh, Free Track R or Track IR, um, it's basically incomparable. The, the tracking on the Rift uh, is is incredible. It's probably the best tracking I've ever used on a device. It's not perfect, but it's it, it's good enough that it's not a distraction. It feels really intuitive to look around. There's no doesn't feel like there's particularly delay on on the developer Oculus Rift. There's a little bit of uh, it's it's not perfect. It doesn't match up 100%, but it's not bad in the sense that you, you don't feel like, oh, it doesn't match up. It, it feels good enough to be believable. Um, if you're playing Team Fortress 2 or an action game where you're rotating around really fast, then it's not practical. But for for just generally looking around or if you're using the mouse to look around, it's not, it's not disorientating to move around like this. It's not disorientating, so it actually works really well. It was one of my reservations with it. I thought, oh, you know, it's going to make you feel really sick rotating quickly with a, with a mouse. But actually, it, it doesn't. It, it, it works. <laughs> um, so think of other key, other key aspects of it that stand out that you might not, you, you wouldn't get until you tried it. Um, like I've said about, the, obviously, the ceilings, the details, you, just, you do just notice objects and details that you probably wouldn't notice otherwise, or you... When you when you first played Half-Life 2, there's probably tons of things that you missed. I mean, it's actually quite depressing the amount of work that developers put into software that you would you would just miss. You'd just like go straight through the game, even if you're kind of paying attention with your mouse on a 2D screen. You 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 wouldn't notice the detail of objects in the environment, but as soon as you put the Rift on, you you want to pay more attention to things because it's more believable in the first place, and so you do tend to look around a bit more and you, you will notice things you'll play. If you play older games with the Rift that you've already played, you'll, you'll be able to get more replayability out of them because you'll notice things that you never noticed before. So, I'm bumping into the table there. It's crazy. I'm going to pause this video and think of other specific aspects that stand out so I can go over so this video doesn't just go on for ages with it being dribble. Uh, there's another one. The uh, aspect of... Uh, <laughs> there we go. The um, characters in the game, when you're looking at them, it's as if that it's more believable that there's a person. Then you really notice the facial animations on characters, especially when Half-Life 2 came out. The facial animation was one of the big features of the game, and with the Rift, you really do feel closer to the characters and they're more believable. You notice it like this is subtle animation of his of his hand. He's, he's like, I don't know what he's doing. Is that he's he's stroking her and poking her in the face, which is which is how I console people that are crying. But you you notice these more subtle details. It's just the the, the extra work and the animation that the developers put into the game. Uh, is paid. It's, it pays off with the, with the, the Oculus Rift. It's no. It's more noticeable when you. You tend not to miss the little details. And obviously, in general, just being able to look around and having it only 3D and all work, it's, it's way more immersive. Even with the lower resolution of this developer rift, it's, it's a far more immersive and believable experience than playing a game on a screen. So yeah, I'm gonna pause the video. Uh -oh. They're coming for me. At the moment, it doesn't have uh, certain axes, but the way they've implemented the rift in this Half-Life 2, 
Um, head for the roof. There's no time to lose. The way they've implemented it, the head as you move your head, it's not a simple on a pivot on the point. It does a bit of movement, so you kind of can peer around corners a bit. Oh, so yeah, I've got to run away now. I was going to pause the video, but I'm going to run away from the combine. I always found this beginning part of Half Life Two a lot, a lot better than the uh, than the later stages in the game. So I, that's another thing. The, this, the spatial changes in in room sizes is really noticeable with the rift. Like I was obviously in the normal building there, but now I'm in this loft area getting shot at, and it, you really did feel. I don't know if I can run. <laughs> I really did feel this, the, the room size change is way more noticeable with this. You don't, you don't really get that on a normal screen. Oh shit. <laughs> well that's it and that's Gordon Freeman and uh, that's how Half-Life 2 ended. Um, unfortunately he broke both his legs.